You're watching Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Jack in the Box. Welcome back, everyone. The Gila Ridge Hawks were one of the biggest headlines of the 2019 season, almost going unbeaten in the regular season, on their way to making the deepest playoff run in program history. Most of that epic team has since graduated, allowing for almost a whole new cast of characters to step in, led by returning dual threat quarterback C.J. Wiggins. Yes, Ridge opens up against a Kofa Kings program, looking to reverse a losing culture under first-year head coach Carl Hope that is. We take you out to Veterans Memorial Stadium for the highlights of this YUHSD season opener between the Kings and the Hawks. Many in yellow showing support for Team Kate. Our thoughts with her family tonight. Kofa wins the coin toss. Back to receive as you see things looking good to start. That's Ashton Guerrero gets spun around. Loses the ball off the kickoff. Thankfully he recovers. That would shake things up because their offense a rough to start at the beginning. The run game gets swallowed by the Hawks. They would go four and out to start. Gila Ridge now to get the offense started. They would go with the run game for a short game, but that would change their weapons. C.J. Wiggins bombing it down the field more than 30 yards to Jaheim Wilson-Jones. Remember that name. He will go on to have a big night. Hawks would score shortly after. So Kofa now with another chance for a clean start. That's even Rico who breaks several tackles. Another one! Another one! <laughs> Getting him close to the 50-yard line. A great start. However, they would turn it over in four. Still no score for the Kings. The Hawks looking to tack another one on. They do just that. C.J. Wiggins to Johnny Noriega again. Hawks up by 13. The question is, can Kofa get things going. Jory Burns now connecting to even Rico for a small gain. Not enough, so why not try the pass game? Jory Burns, take a look at this play. Puts it in the end zone. Talk oh. about defense, my friends. Wow. Jaheim Wilson-Jones fully extends the block that. The Hawks now regain possession. C.J. Wiggins would take this one. Looking outside, going inside, my friends. He takes that one himself, puts himself inside the red zone, and they do what they do best. Wiggins again connecting to who? Jaheim Wilson-Jones. Like I said, a huge night on the offensive part for him as well as the defensive part. The Hawks, my friends, would go on to win this one big. 50 to 13, your final. Man, they've had Kofa's number. We roll into tonight's final highlight as the Yuma Criminals with brand new head coach Bo Seibel stepping in against defending YUHSD city champ Cibola. And then you have John Beltron. This guy got his number called early and often. He gets his number called again for several yards. This time, though, it is pay dirt time, getting into the end zone for the first touchdown of the night, 7-0 Raiders. Criminals would seek to respond. Quarterback Genoa Mendel throws a slant pass, but he can't connect with star wideout Alex Mosqueda right there. Mendel would then hand off to Julian Becerra, but he's swallowed up at that Raider horde for a big loss. Mendel would then lay out. A nice ball for Elon Rendon, but the tight end oh, oh, takes man. his eyes off the ball. You can't do that against the Raiders. The Crims would land their punches, but the Raiders would prove to be too much. They come away with the 34 to 14 win. All right, well with that, the race to the public school city title. Well, here are the standings after week one, my friends. Of course, there's still a lot of football left, Rob. There there's absolutely still is. A lot of football, but on top of the reins, both 1 0 Cibola and Gila Ridge at this time. And, well, Yuma and Kofa sitting at the bottom. But, like I mentioned, we still got a lot of football to go, so we can be optimistic. Absolutely. And it just looks like that, you know, Yuma, for example, was fighting Cibola. They just couldn't really get enough going for. For that one, so, you know, right now, Cibola and Gila Ridge, you know, for the public school city championship, but like you said, there's still and plenty of time exactly. to go. Exactly, maybe that work on some of the things that didn't work out this week, improve next week. Like you said, Kofa has a new coach. They may be 0-1, but you still got to work out the kinks, and hopefully you can turn it around next week. You know? Absolutely. All right, we may be free and clear from tonight's highlights, but wait! There's more. Yes, we will recap all of tonight's scores. Rob and I will award this weekend's helmet props. We can't leave without our Jack in the Box play of the week as well. Stay with us on FNL.